Welcome everybody to part three of our Google Cloud tutorial series, as well as the second part of the Vision API tutorials. Uh, in the last one, we just kind of showed the, some basics of just detecting labels and kind of like a description of what's in the image that you're showing it. We kind of sort of touched on uh, getting the methods and stuff that you can run um, against various, you know, objects that we're getting from the uh, Google Cloud API. Now, uh, in this one, what I want to do is just show a couple more things on the Vision API before we move on uh, to another API. So the first thing I want to do is pop over here. Um, I'm going to come to Python Programming at Net. We'll go to Data Analysis, uh, Machine Learning. And then what I'm going to do is just take this machine learning image. So I'm going to right click, copy image address. And then I'm going to come into here. I'm going to quit. Quit. There we go. Out of there. Mute my sound. And I'm going to go ahead and do a wget for that image. <clears throat> And now we've got this image here, right click there. And then uh, let's go into, I'm trying to decide if I want to go into vision. I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll nano vision x.py. I'm going to change the file name here to that machine learning playlist. And what I'm going to do is let me just, I'm just going to do control K. That'll get rid of these lines here. Um, and actually, well, it's, it's too late. It's gone. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just highlight this now. I'm going to copy this, uh, exit. I'm going to hit no. And then we're just going to get back into an interactive Python. So now I'll right click just to copy everything into here. All right. So one thing that we can do is like we've, as you can see with IO, basically what's returned is this image var. I'm just checking to make sure it's on screen and all, all is well. Uh, let's do dir image, just so we can see what do we have in just this, like what is basically the vision client dot image returning to us. So again, with the underscores, we'll just kind of ignore those, but we can do as dict, which I guess we'll convert it to a diction, I don't know. Um, some something about client content. We can do detect. We can detect crop hints, probably to crop the image automatically. Detect faces, find faces. Detect full text, detect labels, landmarks, logos, properties. Uh, safe search, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, text, web, and source. So this one's kind of cool. It'll detect whether or not you have uh, basically pornographic images. So that's kind of neat. Now, uh, what I want to do is, um, so this image was just like an image, right? It's machine learning over kind of a non-clear background. Um, let me open this back up. So one thing that we can do is like, let's print, just print image.detect underscore text. Okay, so you get this kind of like object, right? So again, we can do dirt. Uh, image dot detect underscore text. What do we get? And sure enough, we get kind of the use usual things: um, append, count, extend, index, pop, all that. So because we got that, we can kind of assume it's an iterable again. So we're gonna say for text in image underscore or image dot detect underscore text. Now we can print dir text to figure out what we're going to do with this. Okay, so again, we've got uh, description, API wrapper, locale, locations, mid, and score. So probably description is probably the best one we're going to go with. So, and then score is kind of interesting because score basically tells you how confident it is about this thing's presence. So again, for text, um, one, two, three, four, let's go ahead and just print, <clears throat> let's print text.description text.score. So the, interestingly enough, the scores are zero, zero. Sometimes I see that happen, and I'm not quite positive why, because it's absolutely certain usually, uh, but whatever, uh, I'll ignore that for now. Um, I bet with the Guido picture, we'd get more interesting scores. Uh, anyway, you can see up here, it detected both machine and learning, and then here it just detected machine and then it also detected learning. So it detected the full body of text and then each word as well. So 
Um, now what I want to do is let's get another one. So this one I've already just kind of saved. I just took a screenshot basically of some text. So going into Python programming.net slash static slash downloads, Google Cloud Tutorials, block of text dot PNG. I'm going to take that copy. I'm going to come back over here. Let's quit out of here. Um, wget. Let's get that file name again. Block of text dot PNG. That's not too hard. I can remember that block of text dot PNG. What was that file name? <laughs> block of text <clears throat> and let's just do this uh, copy x no okay so the other thing that we had was that um, was another option for image so again let's just do dir image again just so I can show it um, we had detect um, text but there's also this detect full text. So detect text could be used to detect text that just so happens to be in an image, but then you might also have an image that is text. So we might want to use detect full text. So for example, we can, um, let's print, or actually we don't need to print because we're interactive. So let's say image dot detect, um, underscore full underscore text. Um, I'm just going to save us some time. I know it has a dot text attribute or method to run on here. So, but normally you wouldn't know it, it returns this, but you could dir it and see it and anyway. Okay, so this is everything. So as you can see, for each major algorithm that we cover, we're going to discuss the high new line level. And if we go over here, we can see the high new line level intuition, right? So it's also kind of noting where the new lines are. So you could just replace, you know, get rid of the new lines if you wanted. But um, anyway, um, so that's pretty cool. So um, the last thing I want us to go ahead and do is part of me wants to do that Guido image again, just so I could show you the score, because I'm pretty sure the score um, will be there. So let me do, so let's just, let me copy this. Copy, I'm not positive that copied. Nope, it did. <laughs> uh, nano vision example. Oh, it's already in there. Oh, I guess because we've never saved it. Um, label.description, and then let's do label.score, just so you can see how confident it is in that label being like, you know, this is what's in the image. So let's do vision next stop. Vision next stop. Move my mouse, couldn't see. Pi. Um, oh, we have to run Python, of course. Vision X dot pi. Okay, so you can see it's very confident that there's hair in the picture. Um, there's a face, a person, facial hair. They've got a nose, a chin. They've got some sort of hairstyle. <laughs> um, oh, I got rid of the image. Oh, well. Anyway, um, a beard, head and uh, even fairly confident it's a senior citizen. <laughs> so I actually don't know how, how old Guido is. How old is Guido? Let's go, let, uh, let's go visit his page one more time. Guido Van Wassum. How old are you, Guido? 61. I think, isn't it 65 to be a senior citizen? So I don't think it's quite right. And I wonder when this picture, yeah, this picture was taken in 2006. So actually 11 years ago. So this is him at age uh, 50. Ouch. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, so that's the Vision API. Um, if you have any more questions, comments, concerns, whatever on the Vision API, uh, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna move on to a new API. Uh, the other thing I do, I guess kinda, I kinda wanna show, um, I can't remember if it was .loc or location. Um, I kinda wanna just, eh, I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, if you tried to get the location of these various things, like wouldn't it be nice if it was like beard and it like had the coordinates of the beard and the coordinates of hair and nose and all the things that it saw here? Um, that would have been pretty convenient, but for some reason, uh, it, it just doesn't, the, the location doesn't seem to return a location. So anyway, if anybody finds an image where location actually works or can figure out why location is returning nothing, uh, let me know. I'd love to know like where, you know, how to get it to recognize where certain things are in the image. That's really helpful. Anyway, that's that. Uh, questions, comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in another Google Cloud tutorial.